Welcome back, everybody. We um, just had an idea for a quick series of uh, the recent horror movies that I've watched <laughs> this that is, everyone has seen for this 30 or 40 years. This is this, this is new to horror, which you call this new to horror. And new to that, horror. New to horror. Uh, you've never seen any of these classic horror movies. That's right. And you've recently watched Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and the first Halloween. Yeah. So we'll um, start with the first Halloween. Halloween 78. It's a good movie. Yeah, it's a good movie. Okay. <laughs> Halloween 78. Well, we just talked a long ass time about, about Halloween 2018, but Halloween 78, uh -huh. I think it's the better movie. Uh -huh. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. I like the slow paced Stalky Myers. I love the, sh like yeah. the, the way the movie is shot. Just there's yeah. so much about the first movie and my own, my, really just about my only problem with it. I presented in the, in the Halloween 2018 review. Mm -hmm. um, also there's, Spoiler warning, because we're not going to give any heed to it. We're just going to talk about these real fast. So if you haven't seen it, spoiler you've seen, alert. You've seen it. You've seen it. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah. like Michael's strength. I'm just going to present that again in case uh, people didn't watch the other one real yeah. fast. Yeah. Apparently it's never talked about anywhere. Mm -hmm. I don't want Michael's strength. Where is it coming from? No man can pick up a tombstone. <laughs> you can't get shot six times, stabbed in the eye and stabbed in the chest. Yeah. Uh huh? We've seen it. It happened in the movie. I mean, I guess it can happen to yeah. people, but they don't keep on trucking like good. Michael. That makes sense. So that's that's my biggest problem. <laughs> yeah. And also... Well, is it a problem or is it what makes him so fascinating? I don't know. I yeah. Can't decide. Yeah, yeah. It's all too new to me. I've watched it less than a week ago. Yeah. Time, or like right at a week ago. <laughs> yeah. My, my review is actually, if you watch the 2018 spoiler review, that my review of the Halloween is in there. I've <laughs> seen it so many times now. The creep factor's gone. The new one I really enjoyed for the entertainment factor and for the nostalgia bait. So I enjoyed the new one a little so bit more. I like, this one, I like this one a whole lot. You mm -hmm. gave the new one a nine. I gave the new one a seven. I'm mm -hmm. giving this one an eight. Okay. Yeah. I think. I think an okay. eight. Yeah, I feel like your review makes more sense in mm -hmm. like the long term. So this movie eventually won't be fun anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But, I mean, I liked the original one a lot. You presented uh, a good point. In case uh -huh. people didn't watch the uh, 2018 video about Laurie and Michael looking at each other. Uh -huh. And then they... It just swaps just camera, and, then and they never break eye contact, but he's not there. He's not there, yeah. Yeah, that, that's, one of the that's one of the most negative things, for sure. Um, there's yeah. the... I feel like John Carpenter realized, like, shortly into filmmaking, that he was like, fuck! <laughs> because <laughs> Michael needed a, to drive to get back to Haddonfield. <laughs> and then, like, he's been in that asylum since he was, like, six. And they were so, like... And even, you know, Loomis addresses it. He calls it... Loomis is the best, by the way. Uh -huh. I love Loomis. Uh -huh. And he's like... He stole a car and he's headed to Haddonfield. And uh -huh. apparently that person online was like, you can't drive. He's like, well, he was doing bloody well good last night. <laughs> and hangs up on him. <laughs> yeah. I think, of, yeah, they probably were like, how does he know how to drive? He's yeah, yeah. I feel like they just. And they were just like, just make it a was, joke about it. Was it. Just it's not easier important. to it's address not it. Yeah, yeah, it's not that important. But um, yeah. Um, oh, and then biggest problem. Um, I can't remember the kid's name. But he's the one with the glasses. Um, and what's her name? Annie. I hope I have the names right. Annie is babysitting. Was it Lauren or something like that? Yeah, is the kid's I really name? don't remember. And yeah, um, they're outside in the van. They're gonna go inside, and they're like, "Oh, what's gonna go?" And he's like, "I'm gonna rip the your rip, rip your clothes off." He's like, "Oh, this is expensive blouse," and, like, and then you're gonna rip my clothes off, and then we're gonna rip Lauren's clothes off, mm -hmm. which is like the ten year old girl. I watched. I rewound it and watched the scene. I don't. Remember he that says at the all. young girl's name, not Annie. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do. First, we go inside, right? Then we'll just talk a little. And then Annie will distract Lindsay. That's when we go upstairs to the first bedroom on the left. You got it? Okay, first I rip your clothes off. <laughs> don't rip my blouse. It's expensive, idiot. Then you rip my clothes off. Then we rip Lindsay's clothes off. Yeah, I think I got it. Totally. Annie is definitely the older girl. I don't know if Lauren is the young girl's name, but he says her name. I don't remember that at all. She's like 10 years old. It's the girl being babysat. I don't remember that at nope. all. Yep. I'll look it up. I yep. feel like there's, I feel like there's a misunderstanding here. I, I just like, want to know: Did Carpenter write that, <laughs> or did the actor fuck up and nobody called it until later? I don't remember this. Maybe he mixed up the names, you know. So it's well, the dude I mean, with the glasses. Yeah, he's kind was of a he throwaway. Was he like joking around or whatever? Like, just was the kid in the room when he said that? They were outside in the van, about to go in the house with Annie and the kid. Man, I don't remember that at all. It seems to be a good bit. You imagine that thing. <laughs> nope. Nope. Looked it up. Okay, people, wow. People are like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. So I let us know in the comments. 70s, 70s movies would sometimes push that a little bit. I think in the 70s, people were just like, it's like edgy, you know? And they were just like trying to just 
te- you know, just test or whatever. The, se- the semis up. were different. Yeah, that's weird. Pretty messed up. It's pretty messed up. I don't, man, I don't remember that at all. Uh, but yeah, okay. Yeah, Halloween first first movie's good. It's good. I recommend it, even as a movie, not <laughs> even just as like. I recommend Halloween, the first movie. It's been out for <laughs> 40, years. 40 yeah. Years. If you're if you're a baby and you were just born, then hey, the Halloween. I, yeah. I recommend it, even just as a movie, not yeah. even as a horror movie. Yeah. It, I think it's I think it stands yeah. as a good. Oh, movie. Oh, well, actually, I want to say this about 2018. I think it's a good movie, besides being a horror, because I enjoyed the dramatic element of it between the between the car- between uh, Lori yeah. and her daughter and everything. Yeah, I just want to talk about 2018 now because now I'm thinking of things. But that's okay. Uh, okay, cool. So next one, Nightmare on Elm Street. Halloween 78. <laughs>